question is I want to see a raise of hands of who's using medicinal mushroom supplements right now. Okay, so we are at the biohacking summit, right? I think I've got the right audience. And of those hands that are raised, who knows where and how those mushrooms in your supplements that you're using are grown? Okay, a few of you. Okay, good. So I've then come here to basically raise some consciousness around this issue. Uh, and to really talk about this, I want to go into a little bit about mushroom biology, also human biology. So mushrooms are more closely related to human beings than plants are, right? Our immune system actually is very similar as well. So the compounds that these medicinal mushrooms are creating can actually be synthesized by us humans. We have receptors for those compounds. So our immune systems are actually very similar. Uh, and I want to kind of give you an analogy. So you, maybe it's you, maybe you have a friend, but I have cousins, who's my, my aunt, <laughs> bless her heart. What she would do is she would wipe everything with bleach, right? She would then wash those kids' hands every meal, before every meal, before they would touch food, okay? And when they picked up dirt, like we all do when we're three years old, I have two kids, so I know this for sure, uh, try to eat some dirt, they smack that dirt away. And what do those cousins have? Well, two of them actually have Crohn's disease. <laughs> so this is a really bad thing that we're now becoming conscious of. Uh, my parents let me eat dirt, and uh, I can actually do a pretty good job. If I go to Morocco and I drink the water, I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> Mushrooms are exactly the same. We develop our immune system by an external response to actually our environment, right? So mushrooms are the same. Most mushrooms right now are being grown indoors, in laboratories, big production spaces, where a lot of bleach is being used, also a lot of uh, HEPA-filtered air, very clean spaces, okay? A lot of pesticides are being used to control against mold, and this causes a big concern for us. So what we wanted to do is provide an alternative for that. So this is a picture, actually, of our Heresium arenaceus, or lion's mane mushroom, growing outdoors uh, at our log farm on birch. And if you can't see, uh, there's actually four different species of mushrooms trying to eat this log, trying to colonize this kind of substrate. Um, only one of those is lion's mane. So as it's being attacked mercilessly by mold, by other fungi, that lion's mane is having to develop its immune system to hold off those attackers, okay? Which is going to make for us the highest quality medicinal compounds. So we have studies that show this now. We know that medicinal mushrooms grown outdoors have medicinal compounds that aren't prevalent in indoor-grown mushrooms. We also know that medicinal mushrooms grown outdoors have more of these compounds. Part of that also has to do with the substrate. So here you can see mushrooms have been eating dead trees, well, the saprophoric kind, for millions of years. They don't eat sterilized sawdust, where you take some minerals and you're guessing what nutrient profile it needs, okay? So, this needs its original substrate. That is how you get those highest medicinal compounds. This is a picture of our farm in Finland. We are located about an hour west of here, and if you're interested for a visit, you come talk to us at the booth. I would love to show you and give you a tour. This is actually a mushroom farm. So you can see there, there's a few logs. This is actually about 10,000 logs growing in the shade of natural spruce and pine trees. Uh, and if you thought about a place that you wanted to grow mushrooms, you couldn't identify a place better than Finland. So here we have a very harsh climate. Um, you're just starting the season of winter, which for us can be six months long. Uh, and it's a lot of darkness. It's a very tough place. So these mushrooms are being externally stimulated really, really heavily. Okay? They're getting pushed to their limits. The best quality air ever measured in the history of air quality measuring has been Finland. Also the same with water. This is a perfectly pure place to be growing these mushrooms. Uh, and we know that not only outdoor grown makes a difference, but the purity of where they're being grown outdoors also makes a difference. And I love this biohacking summit because I had to submit those papers to say that to you right now. So we are very keyed in on this data. This is a very important thing that we're watching. And as this medicinal mushroom industry grows, I think it just gets more important that we're backing what we say up with data. We take mushrooms seriously, okay? That's what our company does. And we are not dogmatic. We will grow mushrooms however, the best way to get the best medicinal compounds for you. 
Um, we have launched our product line here, and we've already sold out of a few different species. Uh, come visit the booth if you want to try them. And you also might know our wholesale brand, Nordic Mushrooms. Um, you might have taken them also in some of your supplements. So watch out for that Nordic Mushrooms icon. That's going to mean that you're getting good quality. Um, and yeah, that's the future. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>